Hi, this is Dr. Niranjan Vatkar and in today's video, I want to explain you the importance of dentine triangle, the preservation of the dentine triangle that is present in the coronal one third of the root canal. Now, as a dentist, you know, we always try to give our best to the patients, you know, we are uh, we are uh, eliminating all the bacteria and the uh, you know uh, the necrotic debris etc from the root canal we are enlarging and shaping the root canal to a specific taper and uh, on top of that we are giving a 360 degree circumferential crown and uh, you know initially uh, the uh, patient's uh, pain factor is is uh, taken controlled of but eventually after few months later the patient comes back to us you know reporting of some kind of pain and then eventually few uh, months later we see a vertical fracture with our own root canal treated teeth so you know uh, in earlier days i used to wonder that exactly why is this happening now whenever we start the initial negotiation of the root canal it has been taught to us that this dentine triangle which is there which is commonly present in the coronal one third of the root canal is nothing but a deposition of dentine now uh, this dentine triangle makes uh, uh, the initial negotiation of the root canal difficult because you know it acts like a small obstruction and does not let our file proceed. So it has been taught in our textbooks and you know different articles that we need to do brushing action with our, uh, with our files and we need to remove this dentine triangle so that uh, we have easy passage of our file. Now, the, uh, now what exactly do i mean by this is that uh, for example if i am trying to place a, a 10 or a 8 number file inside the canal as you can see in the graphic representation of the same uh, the dentine triangle that is there in the coronal third is uh, not letting the file go straight inside the canal so the stopper of this file of the mesial canal is resting on the distal cusp so traditionally and conventionally it has been said that we need to remove this dentine triangle to make a smooth passage or to make a smooth glide path of the file till the apical third. Now uh, to perform this task uh, many options have been uh, advised like you know commonly they have been termed as orifice openers. Uh, conventionally gates and piezos were used but now we have moved on to you know uh, the nickel titanium system and uh, each and every company makes their own orifice opener apart from the uh, uh, the uh, shapers or the uh, finishers um, which are there in the particular system but here I would like to say that uh, there is always a, a word of caution with it okay so what do I want to say here is that too much removal of this dentine triangle is very dangerous why do I say so ha take a look at this image which is there in in the front of your screen now uh, the image on the left hand side is uh, is a simple class 1 cavity and the image on the right hand side is a uh, access preparation has been done for uh, for initiating a root canal treatment now both these images are from a, a metallurgical test which is called as a finite element analysis now in finite element analysis we can measure stress concentration on any object okay so as you can see in this case the image on the left hand side uh, in a class 1 cavity the stress concentration are mainly on the cuspal areas while uh, the uh, while major stress concentration is near the walls but moment i deroof the pulp chamber that is once i open my access cavity the stress concentration has now moved more down that is near the cemento enamel junction and just near the cemento enamel junctions are the openings of the orifices Therefore, if I do lot of circumferential filing and if I'm uh, removing lot of dentine triangle there, there I am practically weakening or I'm reducing the thickness of dentine near the orifice level. And once the dentine has been removed there, there is no way that we can replace it back with any, you know, uh, with artificial material like, like maybe fiber post composites or maybe, you know, core, core uh, composite fillings, etc. Therefore, Today's concept I would say is more of a relative straight line axis. So for example, if the file is going smoothly till the apical third and if it is not an absolute straight line, it is uh, you know slightly slanting or you know it is going in an off centered manner, please don't go ahead and be, uh, uh, please don't go ahead and uh, you know exuberantly removing uh, by using your orifice openers or you know gates or piezos. 
so this removal of dentine triangle has no way to do anything with the success of endodontic treatment so as you can see the case in front of you the dentine triangle that is there in the coronal third has been preserved the endodontic treatment has been performed the lesion has been healed and the tooth is stable so friends this brings uh, brings uh, us to the end of this video and i hope that you remain conservative with your endodontic treatment thank you friends and see you again in the next video